depths on the planet's surface that were thought to be deposits of salt, which could have been left behind by Evaporated water from the subsurface ocean While the conditions on Ceres are harsh, the presence of liquid water makes it a potential location for the development of life. It is worth noting that the potential for life on these celestial bodies is largely speculative at this point. Further exploration and study will be necessary to determine if life truly exists beyond Earth. However, the discovery of potential habitable environments within our own solar system is a promising development in the search for extraterrestrial life. Ganymede and Callisto Ganymede is Jupiter's largest moon and the largest moon in our solar system. It is also the only moon known to have its own magnetic field. Scientists believe that Ganymede has a subsurface saltwater ocean that contains more water than all of Earth's oceans combined. In 2015, the Hubble Space Telescope detected evidence of plumes of water coming from the moon's south pole, which suggests that the subsurface ocean may be in contact with the surface. This makes Ganymede a potential location for the development of life. Callisto is another of Jupiter's moons and is the third largest moon in our solar system. It is believed to have a subsurface ocean, as well as a rocky interior and an icy crust. While Callisto is not as promising a candidate for life as Europa or Ganymede, its subsurface ocean may still contain the necessary conditions for microbial life to develop. It is important to note that the potential for life on these celestial bodies is largely based on our current understanding of the conditions necessary for life to develop. It is possible that there are other factors that we are not yet aware of that could impact the development of life. However, the discovery of subsurface oceans on several of Jupiter's moons offers exciting possibilities for future exploration and study. Triton and Pluto Triton is Neptune's largest moon and the only moon in our solar system that orbits in the opposite direction to its planet's rotation. It is believed to have a subsurface ocean that is kept liquid by the heat generated by tidal forces. In addition, Triton's surface is covered in nitrogen ice, and there is evidence of geysers erupting from its surface. While Triton's subsurface ocean is likely too cold to support life as we know it, the presence of liquid water and other essential elements makes it a potential location for the development of Microbial life Pluto once classified as a planet but now considered a dwarf planet, is located in the outer reaches of our solar system. In 2015, NASA's New Horizons spacecraft flew by Pluto and discovered evidence of a subsurface ocean beneath its icy surface. The presence of this ocean suggests that Pluto could potentially harbor life. However, the extreme cold and lack of sunlight on Pluto's surface make it an unlikely location for the development of complex life forms. It is important to note that the potential for life on these celestial bodies is largely speculative at this point. Much more exploration and study will be needed to determine if life truly exists beyond Earth.